The F-22 Raptor is the U.S. Air Force's premier fifth-generation aircraft, Stop. often hailed as one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world. That looks that, sick. The amount of pullback on that seat must be crazy. Look at the jet. That yeah. looks that looks like it's from Star Wars. <laughs> they don't look normal. They don't look human made. No. Its combination of stealth, super cruise, extreme maneuverability, and integrated avionics wow. represents an exponential leap in warfighting capabilities. The Raptor performs both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions that are vital to the 21st century Air Force. Despite advancements in military technology, this aircraft remains unmatched, earning its reputation as nearly invincible. That is However, crazy. its future became a topic of debate in the Pentagon's fiscal year 2025 budget. The U.S. Air Force sought to retire 250 aging aircraft, including 32 non-combat-worthy F-22 Raptors, to save $2 billion. The House Armed Services Committee blocked the retirement of these fifth-generation fighters, emphasizing their continued relevance for future conflicts. Congress believes maintaining the F-22 fleet is essential until the next-generation air dominance NGAD fighter jet is ready. A congressional staffer said, the decision to block the retirement of several F-22s stems from the reality that, even two decades after it started entering service, the Raptor remains the best air superiority fighter today. Guys, comment below, because you'll know, when, if America or Congress decided to retire those F-22s, what would happen to them? They're not going to break them. They're not going to just... Do they donate them to allied countries? Because I've, I've heard, you know, uh, I think it was a reaction we've done recently where they uh, donated like old fire jets and stuff. But is that what happens to the retired ones or do they literally scrap them? Which I don't see happening. Wasn't it to Taiwan? I think it was Taiwan. They yeah. said they had like old retired, or do they sell them to other countries where they could use them instead? Mm. Comment below guys, I'm curious about that. This is not an easy decision. Lockheed Martin, the manufacturer, closed the Raptors production line in 2011 to dedicate resources to the F-35 Lightning II fighter. That's sick. As a result, the F-22 fleet has faced serious maintenance issues with a lack of spare parts, forcing Air Force technicians to cannibalize older aircraft and transfer their components to the active fleet. Mm -hmm. Maintaining the F-22 Raptor in the air for longer will cost the Air Force several billion dollars. Nonetheless, Congress believes this is still the best option. No other aircraft can do the job the F-22 does so well. Serious jetting up. Since production started in 2005 and ended in 2011, the Air Force received 186 F-22 Raptors. Cool. No new F-22s will be built, meaning what we have is what we've got. Today, less than 130 of these aircraft are operational. Exact numbers are classified. Despite ongoing efforts by the Chinese military to develop technologies and strategies capable of detecting and tracking the F-22 Raptor and other U.S. stealth aircraft, this fighter jet remains the premier solution for air-to-air -air combat. The F-22 possesses a sophisticated sensor suite that allows the pilot to track, identify, shoot, and kill air-to-air -air threats before being detected. Not the sick. Air Force plans to replace the Raptor with the NGAD fighter, a sixth-generation aircraft with manned and unmanned options, the NGAD is intended to be the most advanced air superiority fighter jet in history. Wow. However, the aircraft is still some years off, and in the meantime, the Air Force will have to make do with its current fleet, including the F-22. Despite being introduced over two decades ago, the F-22 remains a formidable force in the skies. You know what's crazy about the F-22? Like when they first got released, they must have been so ahead of their time. Even now they're using them and they're keeping them. So imagine how, how ahead when they first come out. The thing is, it's a lot to run. Mm. Like the commentator just mentioned, it, it, it will cost billions just to have them longer out in the sky. And they're struggling and with spare parts. Exactly. They have to take it from other aircraft. So... Mm. They are sick though. Yeah, it, it's good that doing its job. But in terms of maintaining it and running it... But they the US, got, the US put it. the money into it, their military. And if, they if do, it's still but their it's best. Like they can, you know, create something else and put the money elsewhere. But it seems like they are creating something else, but they're saying for now, we need yeah. to keep the Raptors because we, once these go, those are still in development. What do we have really that can do the job as well as the F-22? Mm. Not many jets could probably do it as good. So I think they'll have them for another three, four years yeah. or something like that. 
What makes the F-22 great in a dogfight is the aircraft's thrust vectoring capabilities. Its two engines have specially designed nozzles at their ends that can move on a vertical plane to vector the aircraft's 70,000 tons of that. thrust in one direction, even <laughs> if the aircraft is heading in another, thus allowing the F-22 to perform impressive acrobatics as well as leverage an extremely high angle of attack during a within visual range engagement Insane. or dogfight. With the ability to fly at speeds upwards of 1500 miles per hour and carve through the sky with its stealth technology, the F-22 has certainly earned the title King of the Sky. Clearly. That is impressive. King of the bloody sky. That's why they're not getting rid of it yet. No. They say we need an another couple of years at yeah. least. One standout maneuver that showcases the F-22's agility is the J-turn. This advanced aerial maneuver allows the Raptor to quickly reverse direction using a combination of a high angle of attack and rolling, enabling it to evade enemy fire or gain a tactical edge in dogfights. The F-22 can also turn, you know. perform the Cobra maneuver. The pilot pitches the aircraft's nose up to a vertical position, momentarily slowing the forward momentum. It then quickly pitches back down, like resuming cobra. level flight. This Ready sudden change go. in speed and direction can throw off pursuing aircraft, allowing the F-22 to gain a tactical advantage or evade a threat. Big up to the pilots learning how to uh, fly these F-22s the way they are, and big up to the pro production company that actually made the F-22. They are crazy. I, it takes skill to fly the F-22, and they are doing it beautifully as yeah. well. It's such a power, it's such a beautiful yeah. machine and they're making the most it's of like it. It's like their toy car, <laughs> their <laughs> Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this will put a Lamborghini to shame. <laughs> Another impressive maneuver is the split S. The pilot half rolls their aircraft inverted and executes a descending half loop, resulting in level Damn. flight in the opposite direction at a lower altitude. Also, pedal turn maneuver, loaded roll maneuver, slow speed pass, tail slide, and more. These maneuvers highlight the F-22's advanced aerodynamics and control systems, Crazy. making it one of the deadliest fighter jets in the world. The F-22 is quite versatile when it comes to the armament it can carry. It is equipped with a variety of weapons that enhance its combat capabilities. The Raptor can carry six AIM-120 AMRAMs and two AIM-9 Sidewinders in its internal weapons bays, maintaining its stealth profile while being ready for both long-range and short-range engagements. Mm. For close air support or precision strike missions, the F-22 can carry two JDAMs or eight small diameter bombs, an internally mounted M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon well, that can is embedded in the airplane's right wing route, wow. with the muzzle covered by a retractable door. According to Air and Space Forces magazine, the Air Force plans to spend $7.8 on the F-22. The funds will go towards research and development, testing and upgrades. I think they're Michelin tires. I know all about those. Does that look like it says Michelin on them? I'm pretty sure it does. I think it does. Yeah, Michelin's our best brand for tires <laughs> by far. Although considered the best fighter jet of all time, the F-22 lacks some capabilities of newer jets like the F-35 and F-15EX. Over the past 40 years, the Air Force has focused on maintaining a fleet of world-class fighter aircraft to ensure air superiority in future conflicts, starting with the F-15 Eagle and later the F-22 Raptor. Now, the Air Force believes the time has come for a new aircraft, driven in part by the advancements of the Russian Su-57 Felon and the Chinese J-20 Mighty Dragon 5th Generation Fighters. Interesting. The forthcoming 6th Generation Jet, NGAD Fighter, is expected to enter service in the early 2030s. Lasers. The F-22 entered service in 2005, so a planned retirement in 2030 would give it one of the shortest service lives of any modern US military aircraft. You no, know, it is. America always has to stay ahead of the competition. So by Russia and China introducing these two new jets that have current technology, Let's be honest, those two jets might be ahead of the F-22 because they probably built them around being better than the F-22 because they, they've had all these years to analyze the F-22, learn about it, and produce something that can beat it. So now America's saying, all right, we take this a step further, and they're the pioneers of the military world, and it looks like they're doing laser technology. 
Which looked mad. Literally looked like bloody Iron Man pressing the thing. Yeah. It's like laser eyes. That Yeah, that's the next thing, like laser tech. That's the next. The thing is, I feel like the people who are the scientists, the mechanics and everything, who are behind designing the uh, equipment, mm. they just, they can't compete. Mm. The Russian and the Chinese, they can't compete against the Americans. They're too innovative. They are. Look how old this is. And it's, yeah, it's, it like, years. it's probably, and it'll probably give a good fight against. And the, they're still to, holding on to it. Yeah. The, despite having spent billions on it, take equipment from elsewhere. They're holding on to That's it. That's what they say when you invest in good quality or last. So, you know, sometimes you might want to save a fiver here, but then that might break, you know, sooner than later. These things will last, you know, the, the money put into them is crazy. It is normal for the services to retire older aircraft as their replacements come online. Mm. So the push to retire older F-22s was not surprising. Investing in new upgrades for the F-22 signals that the Air Force intends to keep them around, likely for another decade. Lockheed is not fully staffed with engineers, warned Lieutenant General Richard G. Moore Jr., the Air Force's Vice Chief of Staff for Plans and Programs at the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies. So, if we were to initiate an effort like this, it would be reasonable to expect they would have to pull some engineering talent from the F-35 program, probably from Block 4, to accomplish it. I don't think that is a worthwhile trade for us. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin commented on upgrading older F-22s. He said, We're looking to be able to take those that are the most combat capable, that looks keep sick. them in the fight, and then leverage some of the resources for those that are going to be cost prohibitive and time prohibitive. This strategy highlights the Air Force's focus on maximizing the effectiveness and longevity of its most advanced fighters while managing budget and time constraints efficiently. By prioritizing upgrades for the most capable aircraft, the Air Force aims to maintain a formidable air combat force. This approach ensures that even as new technologies and aircraft are developed, the existing fleet remains potent and ready for any challenges that arise. However, Air Force officials have also repeatedly made it clear that maintaining older F-22s shouldn't come at the expense of slowing the development of NGAD mm. or impacting the currently True. active F-35 Lightning II program. There have been concerns that the Block 20 Raptors may not be competitive with China's J-20 Mighty Dragon fighters. More further dismissed calls for the F-22 Block 20 fighters to be used for training, stating, they will never be a part of the combat force. They don't have the most modern communications. They don't shoot the most modern weapons. They don't have the most modern electronic warfare capabilities. On paper, the J-20 has several significant advantages over the F-22. And the older Block 20 may not be the air superiority fighter the US Air Force needs. However, the modernized Raptors still have the capability to take down the mighty Dragon. Damn. The F-22 will remain essential for the Air Force, but only until the NGAD takes to the skies. We definitely got to do a video on that new fighter jet when that comes out. So we'll be keeping an eye out for content on that. The NGAD fighter represents the future of air combat, promising advancements that will surpass the most modernized F-22s and F-35s. As these technologies are developed, the Air Force will transition to a more advanced fleet, capable of addressing emerging threats and maintaining air superiority. In the interim, the strategy of upgrading the most combat-capable F-22s ensures that the U.S. maintains a robust defense posture. Mm. The focus remains on leveraging current assets to their fullest potential while preparing for the next leap in military aviation technology. Thank you. That looks sick. Thoughts on the new F-22, well, the replacement of the F-22 when that finally does come out and the F-22 itself, how it's holding out. Very impressive. Super impressive. I don't know what it's going to look like. Yeah. There's got to be con there's got to be stuff out there. We need to start looking into it because I think that it will look, I think it will just look beyond. Because yeah. even the F-22 looks like it's not even man-made. It looks like aliens made it, let alone the new one. F-22.2. Point two. The upgrade. V2 yeah. version 2. Now, but guys, thank you so much for recommending the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For now, peace out. Bye.